All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you've spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of the UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 33. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, meet the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out fighting. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Big, powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Nice body to right under the elbow. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. And they are exchanging leather early. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 
Just over three minutes to go now. Nice punch here. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. See if he can finish. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice body kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Second round underway. Huge block there. Good punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the left hook. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. And they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm. Whoa! Top. This fight's gonna go to What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Come on, guys, do something. Big body kick land. Oh. 
And both guys really throwing with authority. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Checks that leg kick. Big knee there. Oh, that's a good right hand. How about that chin? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice. Just misses there with the left. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, nicely done. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Cable kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big punch lands through the middle. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Down into his mouth. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Oh, how about what a fight so far! All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if it continues down the path. If he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Jump out there. Wow. Those power combinations are really paying off. You floored that guy. All right, are you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Checks the leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only asked to pull it away. I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.